All right, so I want to do another top 10 tier list because we got two recent Carnival Alarms. I mean, if you take a look here, we did get the LR Future Gohan and the LR Sword of Hope Trunks, right? Along with that, again, we have been getting a lot more short-term difficulty content with the new uh, Red Zone that's been coming out. We got some extra stages of the uh, Divine Wrath of Mortal Will, which, you know, there are some, like, difficult stages in there. And I would say a lot of this content is being directed towards shorter fights right so i think you know there is kind of a shift in some of the lists that i made along with these two new lrs so we're just going to go ahead and talk about that today and you know we have gotten um some easy a's as well which i think is important to note but regardless um again this is a tier list uh maker right here so we're gonna just talk about my rankings really and We'll start at number 10, which, you know, it is kind of surprising to hear this unit at 10, but we have LR Blue Gogeta at number 10. And it's like, wow, that is kind of crazy, isn't it? The uh, fifth year anniversary Blue Gogeta at 10. And subsequently, we'll put the Blue Vegito at 9. I think that, you know, both of them are obviously very, very similar in terms of their overall power, but I would probably put Vegito slightly ahead of Gogeta. I don't really like putting like, you know, I, I know some people put like two pick characters in a slot like this, and I don't really like doing that. But let's say you're someone who's like, oh, they should be in the same slot because, you know, they're both nine. Who would I put here next? I'm thinking I would put kai goku there or like the um you could say vegeta and trunks maybe could fit in that 10th spot i think vegeta and, vegeta and trunks is a really strong unit that actually hasn't made this list for me um just talking about these lower tiers because of the fact that there's like so many future saga buffs so especially at turn three they can get their active skill very very quickly and that active skill really buffs up their like defense and gives a whole you know, rotation defense buffs and it helps them a lot in shorter content um and i don't think these guys are as bad like they're they're getting a bad rep recently i think they're better than a lot of people are giving them credit for um you could also say again the uh boo saga the boo duo right i think they can maybe also even slide in there but uh i'm gonna have it like this i i don't like putting them in the same slot right there but those are like the example of some characters who i would say could fit in like a 10 a spot if we do this but i mean they're pretty much very just the same right you float them off on turn four then you come back around and you get them on the um the fifth turn fourth turn whatever you want right i said i said to float them off the turn four but i mean you float them off turn one turn two wherever you got them even turn three then you get them back when they return they instantly transform into the super saiyan blue version and then they have the guaranteed dodging again very strong for the shorter content right i remember in the past you know i like around sin and omega i actually had like kai goku with super saiyan 3 goku and super saiyan 2 vegeta kind of like above this unit because of the fact that you know uh and those like slightly longer events that were the harder events in the game they're able to take advantage of like the spirit bomb a lot more or kai goku stacking right well as i feel like you know in this content it's very hard on units that want to get hits to receive stats so like someone like kai goku could even take a lot of damage early on or you know like vegeta and trunks you know or super saiyan 3 duo who you know want to stack up over time well as these guys had the 70 percent chance to just dodge in slot three and then they get to guarantee dodge and then even on their active skill turn you could also just get um the great chance to dodge if you use the active skill in the third slot right so very very nice uh, the only thing i i sometimes i can have like key issues with them on the very first turn but after that they should be really really good and even then they are still quite good with key um you can even keep them as the third slot right, attacker, right? And Vegeta would get less super attacks off technically because uh, he gets one less super attack, but he gets more key and the great chance to dodge. And same thing with Gogeta. I think Gogeta does lose the super effectiveness. And at that point, you know, you could say they're, they're the exact same unit, right? They're working literally the exact same. Um, they only are different when you have them in the first or second slot because this guy's super effective while this guy's getting the additional super attack, you know, extra. So, um, yeah, I I mean, I, I, if you want, you could really do this, but I, I'm thinking this is better because Vegito, more super attacks, more defense raises, give him like 50, like I said 50 crit, but like give him like 
25 30 crit well this guy you know maxes out like what like 25 ish additional um and the crit is probably just a better potential system ability than additional for these guys specifically um but yeah i think i think overall pretty good pretty good pretty good so now we have our number eight spot and i'll put number seven as well uh because <laughs> i know again there's gonna be some people who disagree with this and i think that i personally have given one of these units a little bit of a bad rep when we initially saw the details but we have super saiyan 4 goku here and then we actually have where's that boy where's he at sort of hope trucks at seven right and i'm gonna say before you guys get your pitchforks they're on like the same tier of power so if you really want to say like oh super saiyan 4 goku is actually better you're a stupid idiot what are you thinking you're, you're stupid right i'm like okay fine you know whatever but i do like trunks better in terms of again the content going on right now and just how he is actually working in game so um we'll talk about trunks first i think let's, let's talk about trunks first and because everyone knows about super saiyan 4 goku again i think that i personally have like shaped a little bit of you know people getting a bad rep for this guy so i do want to i guess i don't know what let's take accountability for that or whatever whatever it is at the end of the day just stoke on right not that big of a deal oh no i'm wrong like the first day or two and i use the unit and it's different like i always say let me use the unit right i want i want to actually try them out on a lot of different content to get a better idea of them um and i think that this trunks like in terms of his stats they get they get to a good number and i think offensively he's actually really strong offensively um he's able to put up some really really good numbers uh this great chance you know uh, there there are situations where it's like oh you can get the super attack and then normal 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 but it's not really as common as someone as like cooler like str cooler who has like the medium chances to do the additional super attacks i mean great chance into a high chance like that's not like bad i think obviously more often than not you'll at least get like i'd say two super attacks per turn and you know commonly i've also gone like the three super attacks per turn with this guy um and then again in the second or third slot he does hit quite hard you know he could do like 15 mil like the first super attack but we want like 14 14 ish mil and then he could do the additionals for like seven mil to eight mil you know that kind of stuff and then he's building up his damage reduction with these super attack performed and this is the biggest issue with this guy and i think that's the issue a lot of people actually do have with this guy i don't know why they couldn't have given him just like um just 30 percent damage reduction when performing a super i mean if we go ahead and take a look here where is this kid gohan uh the another carnival lord that actually is on his banner this carnival kid gohan like he came out a long time ago and it's like he has kind of a similar thing where he gets the additional attack that's a great chance from a super attack now it's just for six turns right um and but uh, you guys get what i'm saying where he gets this and he get he gets a guaranteed additional after eight attacks which we'll talk about this guy's standby too but then it's like he just gets Damage reduction by 30% by characters who being hit by this character's ultra super. And that's within the same turn, so that resets every turn. They could easily just have given this trunks 30% reduction with like for the turn on super attack. And I think that would eliminate many, many issues with this trunks. And it's really, you know, the issues where at the end of the day, the super attacks, you could not get them, right? You, you might not get them. And then that hurts this guy defensively where it's like he either snowballs and he's like really really good which i think is much like more common than not but there are situations where it doesn't and then you get absolutely destroyed by these bosses turn one um but most of the time he's able to get the 30 percent reduction maybe against some bosses he does take like not double digits this very first turn but being fair there's so many characters in the game who also just don't take double to just turn one even like this future gohan right you know before he's built up well maybe maybe normal so you'd be fine against but like super attacks destroy him right you know there's a lot of units where super attacks you know destroy these units even then and the strengths is relatively fine against normals if not just double digit tanking a lot of them even turn one so um i think i like him more than i was originally thinking and i think a huge portion of the standby his standby is super super easy to get and i think that's where like i'm like we'll talk we'll talk about this guy that's where i'm liking him a little over the super saiyan 4 goku right now um because of the standby condition 
because the thing about this is activated after receiving five more attacks this is not like free i feel i think obviously you know you can get that and it's something where you could eventually get that and it's like you're not restricted to hp it's just receiving the five attacks but i mean let's take a look at some of these again recent bosses which i feel like again is a i am basing a lot of this on um and obviously i'm going a lot more in depth into like trunks right here and goku because they're relatively newer goku is not on the global version right stuff like that but like if we take a look at these recent bosses in terms of like how many attacks they're doing like the cell does let's see here seven attacks per turn so like he's attacking like you know two three times in a slot this goku black is attacking six times per turn in the first phase this monster is attacking five times a turn in the first phase and it, like it's sometimes it's like it's you have to you have to lock super saiyan 4 goku in specifically slot one or else he's only getting 20 percent damage reduction which is not enough and you know even if you lock this guy in slot one every single turn he does um, well, not every single turn, my bad. But, like, um, well, for every single turn, you have to get the attack raise, is what I'm trying to say. The defense raise, you can get for the three turns. Which I really like this a lot. Um, but, like, with how hard these bosses are hitting, I mean, <laughs> if they could just... And how high their super attack chances are, I mean, this monster's super attack chance isn't really that big. And uh, neither does Goku Black. But, like, Sal... Well, Goku Black's is actually relatively high, 17%. And then we see 20% from the cell. Like these bosses just have super high chances of super attack you turn one. And if you get to like the final phases, like this Rose or you know this guy and they super use slot one, like if this guy, he, to be fair, it's type advantage, so Goku would be fine, but then you seal him and it gets really annoying. I mean he'll still hit very hard. Um this Goku if his defense passive is not up, he gets absolutely kind of thrashed around. Even with his full defense passive, I feel like he gets kind of you know hurt really badly um not to say this trunks obviously if he takes the supers like he's gonna like get through free but as a slot two unit you know or like you could run him in any slot you want so he's not locked to a specific slot so if you have to hide him you could hide him a lot better than super saiyan 4 goku and i feel like like if you get trunks as full reduction and then you know this goku he's able to like get a stack up. this goku obviously is probably just better defensively because he has the extra 10 percent reduction but this trunks you could maneuver him around much more easily around your team and he's not trying to fill like a slot one role while this unit is locked to that and again the standby like this oob standby is absolutely insane but with how little these bosses are attacking recently, like uh, like these are all the hardest bosses in the game. Like these these are the hardest red zone bosses in the game, right? There's no other red zone boss that I would say is harder than any of these stages, because like this stage came out as this is the last red zone before the celebration. And this stage came out all the way in uh, like January, right? They sell max stage, and then now we're all the way in September and we're getting these stages, which are just just much harder because of the units have gotten much stronger like i would say these three are just like the hardest red zone stages in the game you could even argue some like this stage like could someone argue of, of it being harder than omega even maybe um now yeah the thing the thing is that omega is really good for this goku right because i feel like omega is the fight where you could consistently get this full power goku out but then longer events help this trunks out as well because he's stacking defense right and then uh, with longer revenge usually the first phases aren't really too strong so this trunks is able to again stack up and then he's like even if you do get super normal 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 in turn one and those like shorter con and, like the longer content like the boss is like omega he's hitting for like 800k in a super attack it's like not not a big deal right this trunks is able to still eat that pretty well even with just like a super normal 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 right maybe not the best right but you know um he still would live that pretty easily compared to getting one shot in these shorter phases and yeah uh the standby <laughs> is really insane like i i think people don't rate like the trunks as standby or consider it for some reason when they're looking at this trunks which is i guess fair right because again the shorter constant but i think turn five like just having a flat turn five restriction is super easy because even like compared to this goku right you know and previously like you could say turn five kind of is where you usually get this when you super five more attacks but sometimes you know, might not even get that by turn five in these newer stages um because they attack so little early on well this trunks is always turn five 
He has guard, 50% reduction is turn one. He could do five super attacks. He's an orb changer. And then this finish skill, if you can get that off, probably not in the shorter content, but like even an Omega, I think you can get this off. He is just, he does so much damage. And then even after you use this and he returns back to this normal trunks, he's still stacking defense while he's in a standby mode. So you still get the stack defense. And then technically he has like higher just stats. Like if you're using this trunks here because of the fact that he has the multiplicative buff right here. Um, in terms of defensively, it's just that this guy obviously has the guard and reduction. So he's just a better defender. Uh, these 50%. I like this guy a lot. I think I think the sword the sword of hope trunks. This guy is like like you could you could say this turn of trunks, he's invincible. He's doing five super attacks, and after that, the next turn he does this. Like this is like like a top like three like level character. Like this specifically, this form. It's just this unit is there to balance him out a little, and he's not like the strongest. That's why he's at seven, right? Um, but let me know what you guys think. I, I think I think you could easily do this. You could say, you know, full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, obviously. He has the full heal, which is super insane. The multiple turn support with U, which is really, really insane. You know, and I would say if this is if this was like a like a turn five condition, and that's it, that I could probably like I might even have Goku above Trunks. I think it's really that close i think these two are like very similar in terms of power and they're both standby units right um so i guess it kind of makes sense with that but uh yeah that's why i have it like that next we'll talk about six <laughs> the blue goku and vegeta you gotta know a lot of people like super saiyan 4 goku even above like a lot of people would have this and i think that's fine too right um but i i do like the blues a lot and then again it goes back to the shorter content where i think they're more effective in shorter content than like the super saiyan 4 goku and the sword of hope trunks being able to like they're another unit that's tied to slot one but i feel like they're just a better slot one unit because the fact they have the guard but also the dodge right so you know i feel like I feel like they're already better defensively than like what the Super Saiyan 4 Goku is doing slot one. But then they also have the 50% chance to dodge as well. Really, really insane. And this restriction is not a big deal at all. Future Saga is so strong at this point. You know, we are getting a lot of Realm of Gods bosses, which buff their stats, give them super effective. If you run them in slot two by any chance, you know, you could actually get them higher numbers. I think people really downplay, like if you run this unit in slot two, let's say you have physical God Goku slot when you put them in slot one, then you run these guys in slot two, they could actually do some pretty good damage with this up. And again, there's the Rose Goku Black and Zamasu stage. There's just the Rose Goku Black stage, right? Um, and then we'll see what the last Divine Wrath and Mortar Will stages are. But I think we'll get like an like an Infinite Zamasu stage. We should get like a Fusion Zamasu, like a Corrupted stage, right? So I think there are um, some extra Realm of Gods enemies that we can get that will be very tough and it just directly help this guy out. Even if you run him in slot one, they'll be super effective and get the extra stats, which will help them defensively and offensively, which is really, really good. Um, and then I, I, I would say if there's one thing I would say, maybe make them a stack defense here. I don't, like the stacking attack is cool. But like the stacking defense, imagine if they stacked on both their 12 key and 18 key. I think people, I mean, they would be like, they would shoot up on the list a lot, a lot, a lot. But people would be more satisfied with them. Um, Another thing, their leader skills. So like busted. I uh, think that, that's, that's another, another thing. Like if we're talking about characters that are so close to each other in terms of power, I think leader skills, like you could start taking a little bit into account. I, I personally like taking leader skills into account more than other people do. And then obviously if you get Vegito out, which... You know, sometimes there could be issues with getting this boy out, definitely. Uh, I don't think it's, it's like impossible like people make it out to be. But, you know, if you don't get it out, which is not like uncommon, um, then guess what? This guy's not guarding and then you're kind of could struggle with them. And at that point, they're kind of they're kind of like they're I, I can't even say kind of. They're basically a dodge or die unit in slot one unless you're able to hide them around and then get them to turn seven. Which, you know, which is why I think, you know, maybe their guard should have lasted for five turns instead of four turns. But, you know, whatever, man, whatever. Um, but that's basically all I could say about them. Uh, and then obviously Vegito Blue himself. This guy is like, like also like a top three character in terms of power. He's just absolutely insane. Um, just a 
stupid character. This guy's stupid. People still think people think that this guy sucks. It's just crazy to me, but whatever. That's why I have him as uh, six. And then we can start filling in some of these characters we know. GT Duo, I think we all uh, have at month five. And then I think at four right here, we have Infinite Zamasu. Again, I think that Infinite Zamasu is better right now, better suited for difficult content than even the Blue Duo and the GT Duo. I just think that uh, his team needs a little more help. But other than that, I feel like his team kind of has um, it's like it's it's like it's a, it's a good team still. It's just not a top tier team. But I, like well, I would say like I, it's really weird because it's like I would say I like the GT duo better than the blue duo still because of the revivability uh, that they have, which is so uh, impressive. But like early on, they can get screwed over. It's just like, you know, how Trunks can get screwed over early on or Super Saiyan 4 Goku can get screwed over early on. Well, so I feel like it's less easy for these guys uh, to get screwed over. I think that Zamasu, it's also like less easy for him to get screwed over, but he's just, he's just more powerful. He's just so much stronger, right? In terms of like his strength and what he's doing turn one. It's just really good. He just needed that help. I think Ejo Zamasu, you don't know how much Ejo Zamasu's easy in my opinion helped this guy out. And then I think we're likely gonna get Inkoku Blacks, Easy AZ, TUR, and the LR for part three. Which, you know, we'll hope that there's good, they are good, but I think at least one of them will easy and they'll at least become a solid option, which is another reason why I, I'm not kind of having this Zamasu well for maybe a little preemptively. I don't really like doing that a lot of the times, but I do like it. Um, and him getting access to extreme class and his leader skills is super helpful as well. But I, I don't really think I have to talk about Zamasu too much. I think a lot of the community really likes Zamasu, uh, and I think he's really, really strong as well um i think i'll just put the last three on here i mean uh, just, just put the last three on here so orange piccolo i don't even have to talk about him i have him at three a lot of people like the gt duo better than him still i, I don't agree man i think orange piccolo is so much better for the shorter content as in superheroes if we're talking about like his restriction for the giant form i mean superheroes has gotten just obviously way better just just so many like characters on here uh that got came here from this celebration the blues right here we got trunks you know even with this unit is so good um you know let's see what this unit's easy is going to be that can be interesting we got str my it my is still a really good option right you, know, you got tech trunks easy which is solid right um, a lot of these are like future saga category you know characters of course um but i think you know superheroes is just obviously just buffed more as a better character category bottom master disciple again has also gotten so much stronger which you know with stronger options of bottom master and disciple i think before this celebration it was like you know you had ajo lr gohan and everyone else is kind of like yeah right but now we have obviously lr future gohan we'll talk about him in a second uh sort of hope trunks right there again is also a really good option um you could more freely use this tech uh super trunk i guess if you want to right and yeah, I think, you know, even in Future Gohan, a really strong easy aim. But uh, next I have Future Gohan and then Bulma. I saw Bulma 1. Yes, I know a lot of people are going to be like, Bulma 1. I think a lot of people like Future Gohan uh, at 1, who like himself. And I think that's a fine, you know, little... Like, if you want Future Gohan at 1, sure. I just think I overall like what Bulma is doing still, which is kind of crazy. But it's like... It's hard to like replace Bulma like this unless you're just uh, either you're just like ushering like a new wave of just power creep absolutely like you're like you're by far and away you're just like hitting harder than everyone by far and away you're like you know defending better you're, you're just like a, like a new wave of power creep I just don't know if like unless you're just Bulma but better like in terms of design like I don't know if there's someone who's gonna top her um in terms of like her strength and stuff like that while you know future gohan i think that this guy obviously very very strong i mean i want to talk about him a little more because he's obviously new unit um i think the thing about him is that he's still another character that turn one slot one you know even just normally slot one he can take a lot of damage still because a reason for that is because the last 20 percent reduction that he gets um like he's like designs accounting for the fact that he gets 80 percent reduction right so he doesn't have like 
so much mega defense tur like at the beginning of the turn and once he super attacks especially in turn one is where his defense gets really crazy with the 20 percent extra reduction but like if you're trying to run this unit in slot one as an example uh especially turn one he could take quite a lot of damage so you definitely want to build this guy up with his extra stats here i kind of almost say you want to run this guy in slot two even which is sounds really funny since he has 60 percent reduction right i mean you can so easily run him in slot one but uh to maximize him i think there are probably like some better slot one units still like in terms of their role filling in slot one than this gohan and i think it's fine you know if you have to run him in slot two i do think turn five future gohan uh, where he has the domain up and he's doing the 30% extra damage to extreme class enemies and like this You could argue is the best ability in the game right now Like you could definitely argue that it's just so strong because there's every every hard boss is extreme class And it's basically just a 30% damage buff like it's crazy Then he gets this buff which helps him out that also activates his reduction start of turn on that turn that you use the active skill. So if you use it on turn five, he has 80% reduction before he attacks and he gets a defensive buff and he's fully built up. Um, and then he can heal a solid amount with SDR key spheres and he's guaranteed critting. And then he's doing like five super attacks, including the active skill. And then like on that turn, he's like best unit in the game, I think definitely. But I think, you know, if we consider like, you know, turns ones to, you know, turn one to four, or even like after the specific turn five for future Gohan and future difficult content where he loses out the reduction, um, this Bulma will probably just be better for the team overall and just overall, I think, provide more because she's supporting from turn one. She's orb changing from turn one. She's nuking, right? She's a, she's a nuker unit. She's guarding with damage reduction that builds up even just from turn one. I would say turn one in terms of tanking in slot one, this Bulma is just better, right? I, I, would, say, I would say she she felt like she just eats attacks better in slot one turn one than what this guy's doing. And again, it's like very small, but that's you know how close it gets. Now, what I would say about this guy is that he leads, you know, arguably just the best team in the game right now. Future Saga, 200%. And he has the highest HP in the game by far. 21,000 uh, HP. Uh, uh, it's maybe not by far, but like by far, but like with relevant units, right? If we sort by HP, um, sort HP, and then display the HP, right? You see, I mean, he has 20... Oh no, that's base max. We gotta go with the potential max. 29,000 HP. Boma also has a lot of HP by there, 20,000. But you're running two of these guys as your leader. And on, the, on that team, you're cracking 800k HP sometimes. 750k HP a lot of the times, right? Um, Depending on your dupe levels, right? But just uh, very, very nice. Even at 55%, he has 26,000 HP. Just huge hp pulls that you have so it's like even if this guy is slot one turn one taking like 500k damage you're like above 40 percent hp still basically right? <laughs> or like 30 to 40 percent hp so it is just absolutely nasty um and this guy also helps out this trunks a lot i think too right they, they work actually really really well together uh, i i do like this like kind of partnership between them you can run them in slot one still, I think, in a lot of events, uh, like I was saying, because 60% reduction is obviously still really strong. And this trunks, you know, uh, like, think of a standby turn on turn five, and then you have this guy's domain up. It just, eh, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, this, this Gohan is just really, 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 really good. I'm quite a huge fan of him, and I like that he doesn't have to super attack for these stats. So even if you miss the high chance right here, he still builds up his stats but um yeah that's why i i feel like oh man i re i'm i i almost want to do this maybe but i don't know let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments below i'm thinking this is what i'm gonna do just because i think boma is just a little better in like the earlier portions of the fight which i think matter more right now maybe because the thing is like you get this domain on turn five and it's like right at the end of the fight um most bowman's always supporting like with key attack and defense the entire fight so yeah that's it but uh here's this right here i, I kind of added the extra units i was talking about earlier but i like i would have this as a tier then i think <laughs> funny enough all these characters in a similar tier i mean 
Could you argue like having no? Because like I want to say like you could argue Super Saiyan 4 Goku above this unit, but then I want to say okay, but I wouldn't. And then I like I'm I'm having fun with this unit here, but I would like you say you could even do this, but I wouldn't say Super Saiyan 4 Goku is above you. Like me, I'm in my personal list, right? So it's just really weird to kind of rank these in terms of similar powers, but um, this is an order, obviously. Oh, actually, no, it's not an order. Let me fix this right here. Uh, pick a little move right here. I like this um so this is my list overall but hopefully i can explain things well and again i'm maybe i miss one things or two i'm not like perfect i'm recording this what 6 a.m it is what it is uh i would like to hear what you guys think though um again i think the place that people will have the most issues is probably here but like you know that's uh, whatever it is what it is right at the end of the day i said you could do this so don't get too angry whatever man i i'm done i i do like this trunks better than super saiyan 4 goku is what i'll say um but yeah thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time peace out